Action. All right, action it is. So, cable broke today. But uh, let's take a break for a second. Hello folks, hope everyone's doing well. Brought the kiddo, she loves taking video. I was in a super duper rush today. Wasn't really in the mood for taking video. I was doing all kinds of stuff I wouldn't recommend. Sometimes the job is demanding. We have to know our limits as individuals and pray the good Lord will protect us. And he did that day, so thank you Lord. To get rid of this one? Yeah, that one's no good. That one, uh, I'm leave that one. Okay. You can go in the back of the truck because you aren't good anymore. Apparently. This is obviously his work truck. That face is me looking at it going, that's crooked. I can fix that. I don't like that. It's all hooked up. Yep, it's ready for snow. We're not taking that, so we're gonna move the ladder there. I'm gonna grab some uh, glue that I totally forgot. My fault. I got some. I got too much. It ain't enough. I know it's not. It's not just all across the thing. I'm gonna get a case of it. <laughs>
So something that I've learned over the years is that it's amazing what oil does to a garage door. This thing was running so crusty and I know it hasn't had lube in a long time. And just to spray that oil in all the joints and the hinges and then the rollers. And then also I got the um, garage door opener itself sprayed down. And that opener's gotta be older than my parents. I mean, that thing's gotta be, I have no idea, 50s? You know, it, it's super old. It looks very simple. I, I've never even tore one apart. I've ripped one down before out of this place uh, just because they actually had a roof leak and that's the only reason it went bad. But sprayed it down with good with some oil and it runs a lot better. One thing I didn't show in the video is that I also sprayed the bottom of the cables to let it kind of saturate it and drip down on the cables because up here in Michigan, you have such bad corrosion with salt and whatnot and water that it eats the bottom of the cables. And actually, that was the reason why uh, it, it failed was the bottom of the cable rusted out and it, it broke loose. That's easy. Don't let it hit you. I must say that was my uh, that was my first time going through the video, and uh, it was a little a little over all over the place. But uh, I'm very proud of my daughter. She did a good job. I, I like the music and stuff. It's it's pretty cool. I'm glad she took some video. It's always that thing afterwards that you're you're happy that you did it, but when you're in the moment, I was in a rush, big rush, and uh, I was trying to help that customer out. They had a loader that was stuck in there originally. We got it up without a forklift. We ran the door with one cable. And uh I was just I was pushed for time. I was just I had to I had to go. <laughs> That's all I can say. So thanks for sticking around, you guys. I hope you have a good one. Hope everybody's enjoying uh, a little bit warmer weather right now. And uh we'll see you on the next one. Thanks.